Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey everybody. So uh, today we're going to work on our positivity journal. Uh, I've seen some new critters and I wanted to put those in here. And uh, yeah, so this is the one we did last time. Uh, I never did glue it in, so we're going to glue it in now. Guess I'm not gonna go get my coffee. And uh, oh, I tell you, what do you need? It's been crazy since Clint got home. Oh, I forgot to get something. Hi, Car. Oh, I forgot to get my glue. How my boy do? So, uh, hope you guys are doing well. It is what Wednesday, I guess. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> when you see this oh we ended up not having to work on Monday and then Clint went to work Tuesday um, but he was home by one I think yeah she was and I stayed home I have been drawing too much thanks to Miss Lindsay and her drawing course well in my brain cuz I try to Blaming her for you doing it? I try to figure out things and it just keeps running into my head until I kind of uh, find the solution. And so I was drawing a, a quart jar and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So I kept drawing it over and over and over. And I ended up with tendonitis in my arm, and it goes all the way down from about here all the way up to my shoulder. <laughs> so, we're going to attempt to do a little bit of a drawing. Uh, nothing too extravagant in here. Uh, because we hung up a hummingbird feeder, and one of the first birds we saw wasn't a hummingbird, but an oriole. And I was asking Clint, because I couldn't see where it was, and I was asking him, Hun, is there a hummingbird? Because I wanted to see the hummingbird. And he looks up and he gasps, and he's like, oh my God, it's an Oriole, which we don't see very often. So, we're going to draw an Oriole. So, first thing I think I need is some water, because for some reason I'm really thirsty today. I think it's dealing with all Clint's hot air. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Boy, that was clever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let's see if I can find my um, sketchbook. I'll kind of show you guys what I've been doing. <clears throat> and you can learn how to do these over on Lindsay's channel. Uh, let's see. Just to share. I've been sharing with my friend. Hi, Lorette. <laughs> my brother and my sister. And so here is a magnolia flower. But it was too dark. So I redid it. Because it's supposed to be like a white flower. And I'm one of those who I just keep trying again. It, like I said, it goes through my head until it clicks. And then this is a pear, which I think turned out really cool. The only thing she said about this one was that um, the values, which is the light and the dark of the leaf, were a little bit too light, so I just kind of smudged that. That worked out pretty well. That was fun. This was my first attempt at this river, and it was too harsh, so this was my second attempt, which I think it turned out so pretty. I love it. So, but that's the thing is, you know, I never learned the basics. So, I thought, you know, now it's time. This is a pink flamingo, and we actually drew it upside down first, and then we flipped it up. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but his head's a little large. <laughs> but other than that, the shading, she said, and everything was really good. So, that was fun. Oh, okay. So that's why he's upside down in my book. By the this way. is some, what? Oh, go ahead. This is a birch bark. So that was really fun. Oh, I'm making me coffee. Okay. 
this was a portrait and it looked really sim similar to the original and it was funny because Clint's like oh you should draw for the cops you know and I'm thinking well why would I need to you know draw a pic picture of a picture so why would they need me there anyways I think he turned out pretty cool and then <laughs> this was my attempt at, at a girl she has a three-quarter um, three-quarter side face or whatever and I think she looks pretty cool I think she's fun and Lindsay said that she um, reminded her of some of the art journal girls you know like the stamps and stuff that people do art journaling with so of course I had to reattempt her and then this and look they don't look anything alike <laughs> other than their hair <laughs> so I'm gonna reattempt her again but I had to take a break because I was kind of getting overwhelmed with her so that was cute and then my jar uh, this is why I have tendonitis because I kept trying my jars the lids didn't seem to come out the way they needed to they weren't flat enough so I practiced and practiced and practiced and suddenly it just like slapped me in the face like hello all you have to do is this on this one you can see where I erased that top but of course I don't have my jar in here so let me grab my other one And like she said, you know, anything you, if you improve and you learn how to draw, then it improves all of your artwork. So, here's my jar. So, um, it's not so bad now. I did kind of, um, because I, fi I knew how to fix it, so I kind of erased it, but it looked kind of like it was in a kiln or something, and this part was really, um, flat but I did fix it so still a little off but not too bad and that was my last one because I hurt my hand my arm still hurting but it's better than it was yesterday yesterday I was like in tears so today we are going to move on but I just thought I'd share I don't know might be boring but you know it's fun again I will sorry if I remember, I will link that course if you guys want to take it. It's really informative. And my friend, she said, oh my gosh, Michelle, you have learned so much in the last couple of months. She was saying how much my drawing has improved in the last couple of months. And I said, well, I did all this drawing in the last week. <laughs> so I've been doing it all in a week. I'm almost done with the class. But Clint won't let me draw anything now. No. But you guys know why. It's just because, yeah. I'm bossy. You're not bossy. Well, you are. But So, you know what? I think I might just leave that whole piece. Oops. Whoops. And see if it, will that whole piece go on? No. Oh, man. Cut like half an inch off or whatever. I've been busier than a one-armed paper hanger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Have sanded so many blenders. He has, and you know what? He did bring me a cedar one. So, um, like this one is the one I use all the time. It's actually browner, and this is very rare to have this color. This was one of, I mean, we do sell some like this, but it's few and far yeah. between. And, um, but then the cedar one, Robin kind of has like a pink color almost a pink tone it's kind of like inside your cedar chest it smells like cedar it's really cool in fact if you didn't want to do ink blending you could just get one of these and stick it in your sock drawer keep if that the, was the case keep I the cover it. keep oh. the moths away <laughs> I don't know you know yeah if you want some like wood chips or something that's what I need is some cedar chips I you need to save need, them all yeah I guess I will have to Separated. Because we do have, sometimes I will like knit a project or something, like socks or something, and then they have holes all in them. And I was thinking the moths might be getting to them. Sorry guys, Jazzy Lynn is not doing good, so if you guys could pray for her. Yeah. 
uh, that's her coffin in the background and we think she either like ate a bug or got into something she's she's improved today and I was gonna take her to the vet but she's improving she's not like she was yesterday and um, but she's kind of not feeling the greatest she is drinking uh, we got some soft food because I was thinking, well, if she got something, like, you know, it could have been a wasp or something, a bee maybe, I don't know, in her throat. She is drinking, so I had Clint pick her up some uh, soft cat food, so maybe she'll start feeling better. She's a poor baby girl, so I stayed home and babysat her, and but she has been drinking quite, you know, quite often, so she's not dehydrated. Um, but she needs prayers, yes. guys. She so don't feel much. good. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She is an absolute doll, is what she is. But she's kind of interested in playing today, and she wasn't yesterday, and she really hasn't been coughing horribly today like she was she yesterday. Yeah. But you know how when you're you watch them, and then you're like can't figure out what's wrong it's kind of like drawing you're like what could be wrong and then last night I'm thinking oh I wonder if she swallowed something you know maybe scratched her throat or something so what I'm thinking is she scratched her throat because it doesn't sound like she's gagging on anything uh -huh. and uh, maybe like hurt it and that's why she's yeah so I've been making sure there's no buttons or anything on the floor just in case I don't know you know so anyways, we saw an Oriole yesterday, or the other day. So it was beautiful. This one is um, from Paint My Photo. It's like a royalty free. I don't remember the one we saw have a black face, but we're going to use this because they didn't have a lot, and I didn't get a picture. So, I'm just going to attempt to draw her. And where is my um, drawing thing? But man, if you guys are interested in learning the um, the ins and outs of drawing, just the basics. And Lindsay often has like a 50% off on the school. So if you're interested in learning that, then keep an eye. She does like on her videos, it's Lindsay. Uh, Wirick the frugal crafter she does have her um, sorry guys Clint's making coffee she does uh, do the classes 50% off and I say they're worth every penny even if you pay full price so we're gonna attempt to draw this and watercolor it um, we're gonna watercolor, so I don't really need anything other than this stuff. So, oh, the eraser. That's the whole point of getting this. <laughs> so, we're gonna kind of play with this. I think I'm just gonna draw it here. And I love that she says, and she says this in her photos. So I'm not giving away anything, you know. She says, draw what you see. And so that's what I'm going to attempt. <laughs> so I just kind of thought he would be kind of fun because we did see him on a feeder. Though our feeder, he we saw him um, was on the hummingbird feeder. He actually kind of went over there and was doing the hummingbird feeder, which was really cool. So I just thought it would be fun and... <laughs> Since I'm not allowed to draw right now, I figured to Clint, I have to do a video. Yeah. <laughs> but really, this is easier than, um, and I'm just taking it really light. This is easier than, like, cutting papers and sewing and stuff, so. So, I'm just kind of sketching some stuff in here. Like I said, I've never really drawn or anything, and I really felt like this class would help me out, and I'm, I've really been happy with, you know, the course. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna so, I'm going to put 
his body here. So we're going to kind of... I know, they're so pretty, aren't they? Well, they're just, yeah, just that noise they create awesome. Yeah. And then he has like a head. You know, one thing she teaches is to use like different um, um, things to kind of make up, you know, the design of the, um, that's too tall, the design of your project. So like on this one, you know, like a, a big oval and then like a little tiny circle oval. So it's really fun. I hope you guys, you know, enjoy these. But I really wanted to um, to kind of get in some positivity journal today. We did get some fun mail this weekend, and uh, my best friend, her youngest boy, he's in his 30s now. He is getting married, yeah. and so we got kind of like a marriage announcement thing or something photo card thing. yeah it was like a photo um magnet and it has their date i guess they're planning on getting married but there was no note or anything so awesome, but he's such a sweet sweet he's boy sweet and kid, yeah, yeah. Love that yep we haven't met her but we will Just kind of, that's where the tail is, and they don't really have it, like, showing, so it's kind of hard to see. So, I think it looks pretty good, pretty accurate. Here is the little foot. But I figured, if nothing else, we could just, you know, kind of share what we're positive about this, you know, this, um, in this time. Hope you guys are staying safe. We're not really going to any restaurants. Our restaurants are not supposed to be open here. I don't, I think there's a few open though. I, uh, yeah, I'm not 100%. And, you know, Clint and I hardly go to restaurants anyways. So it's not, um, something we do often, you know, anyways. It's just kind of, but. The health department, I guess, are shutting people down and stuff for opening or not I shutting them down, but they're finding them, them yeah, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, just all kinds of stuff, but I'll wait and see how everybody else is doing before I go out. Okay. <laughs> that's my, that's my plan. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. just in case. So, yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. His eyeball is about right here. And it's a circle. I think it looks pretty good. So, oh, and I wanted to put the orange in. They're just an orange because they love oranges. We, I read, um, read up on them to see what would, you know, keep bringing them in to the yard. So I read up on them and found that out. Yeah. Sophia loves her daddy. Is a pain in my <laughs> so, and then, look, I took up the whole thing. I was going to write the saying at the bottom. Maybe I can fit it on the top. But, um, we were going to take the car down today, which, you know, when was it today? Wednesday, and Clint went to get it ready, because today's Tuesday, but, um, and found out it there was more issues with it. We we're gonna take it down and get it fixed. An oil leak, you know. And yeah, it has a lot more issues than he thought. So have to rent a wrecker and take that or have them come pick it up and everything. And it's you know it's gonna cost a pretty penny because it's 30 miles, <coughs> but it is what it is. So yeah. But we're still staying positive, right? Yes, we are. Okay, there's that piece right there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just put like 
I don't know, something down here. It's not in the picture. So I don't know, you know, how it's sticking or whatever. So maybe just like a plate of some sort. That's what I would put it on. It's just like on a like a metal plate that you kind of stab it with. So yeah, let's just see what we can do. My focus is going to be on the bird. Sorry. It's kind of coughing there. I am going to go ahead and put in his black, like where I think it should go. If I remember, I'll tag this um, where I got this reference picture. And then that's going to go kind of like that. And then we have the wings here. Like that. And they're kind of black and black and white. That's kind of windy pretty. here again. It really got windy again. Where is my... It's right here under everything. So yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty fun. So we're just going to mess around and see what we can come up with. Let's do this one first. Like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. Where did my... Watercolors, sorry guys. Okay, we're just going to kind of play. I don't want it to be too, um, you know, perfect. We're just going to kind of kind of play with it. I think I'm just going to just put in a little bit of water here. This is going to be our orange. But yeah, we've been getting all kinds of birds. Of course, we have the doves. Yeah, we have those. And we have those all the time. Around, actually. And I was talking to my brother, and he said, oh, he wants to get some hummingbird feeders, because his wife's pretty much bedridden. And uh, so he wanted to get them some of those. He said they have cardinals, which we don't have cardinals here. I would love to have cardinals, so I think that'd be really fun. So I'm going to just kind of use different colors. Uh, this is a permanent yellow and a permanent orange. Who is talking? Is that Bubby? I or is that little so. guy? Little guy started doing that too, so it's kind of hard to... No, it's Bubby. Yeah, little guy's sleeping. Oh. I call him little guy because sometimes when you call their names, they're like, what? <laughs> what, <creep>. mama? <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> So yeah, it's just so that's kind of fun. Man, let's put it a little bit here. But it's really fun, like I said, just kind of learning, you know what. Just the basics of stuff. So that, and then I want it kind of really light for the tail and stuff because it's not in focus. So like here, I'm not going to put any water. So like here and up in here. But I really have been wanting to try this out, you know. And uh, I'll go around the orange. Just to kind of play, play along. And then we'll do that a little bit darker. Uh, actually, I'm going to... Because I don't want to spend a lot of time on the orange, but I want a little bit of that... Um, <coughs> 
kind of texture. So I think I can get that if I do. My next course with Lindsay is going to be a watercolor course. So it's kind of, you know, that'll be kind of interesting. Be exciting for you. Yeah, to kind of yeah. learn different things and, you know, things like that. Because I've just been kind of playing, you know. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> but yeah, just just kind of play in here and there nothing nothing too much and then holy cow it sounds like it got really really it's really windy out, windy out there and it sounds like the cat or the chicken or birds are singing and i think this part was a little bit lighter Just a touch darker than the uh, pith. <coughs> but yeah, the birds are singing. They're all happy. We did get some rain. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. So we did see a little bit of rain. Yeah, and we had a heck of a downpour. Yeah, down. I mean, it was even like we saw some um, ice because we had some grapple. So kind of like hell, which is really funny. I mean, you know, to us that's normal, but... <coughs> so, yeah. But that was fun, because we haven't, <laughs> haven't seen anything like that in a while. Any, not any moisture of any kind, and we're in a horrible drought right oh, now. Yeah, so. be a bad one. So that's kind of fun, I like that. So. It keeps uh, leading into there and I don't want it to. There we go. Okay. So that's good enough. So now you want to kind of work on things, but again, you know, you want things to dry because you don't want to bleed into them. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and do some black. I'm just using colors from here. If you were doing like, you know, a painting that would take a while, you would probably, well, like Lindsay does it, she would make her own black or her own dark gray by using like all the different colors. But since this is just a really simple little, you know, painting that I'm not going to stress about it too much. I'm just going to use the colors from my set. It's just for me. So, there we go. That looks fun. And then I want to see, oh, I want some brighter orange <coughs> in here. Sorry, not very clean. Tell them about your your car too. Oh yeah. So he was he was not happy. <laughs> but you know I was like I was telling Shell I mean it happened here at the house. So I exactly. Mean, it didn't ruin the engine or nothing. It you weren't stuck on the side of the road. Yeah, I mean we could have been a hundred miles away or whatever. <coughs> Mazes. Yeah, true blessing. Yeah, because it did happen. I mean, he was fixing to take it for the day. Was yep. that yesterday? I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Yeah, yeah he had just a, sh a short job or something. Yeah. Oh, he had to run down to the mailbox or something. And it was just a short thing. He was going to take it. And it started messing up before he left. Yep. So it was kind of, yeah. Yeah, I had. Yeah, I had to locate down there. Yeah, you had to locate down there and... Yeah, I was just, yeah. So, it was really, really awesome that... Yeah. He wasn't stuck, because I would have had to come pick him up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just an absolute... Just a godsend that it ha I mean, even the first time when it... When the fan broke, it was right by the house. So, we didn't ruin the engine, you know. It, yeah, it could have <laughs> been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Could have ruined the engine and had to buy another one. And yeah, so yeah, I'm not upset. You know, it is what it is. I'm just glad it happened here. 
gift. Really blessed because that doesn't happen all that often. And here, you know, when you break down, it's not just five or ten miles. It's usually a couple hundred. Oh, yeah. So. That's happened to us because we, we've had that a lot. Because we're, we're on the road a lot. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was really... It was a blessing that it did happen here. So. We got a tow truck that's around here. <laughs> yeah, it's just up the road. So I don't have to pay a double fee for them to to take it in. Take, to come come up here and then take it down. So. Yep, that's pretty cool too. You know, so yeah. So I'm just drawing in, you know the the big wire piece. In fact, I'll probably just go ahead so it doesn't look like it's just floating in the middle of the air of the. Boy, there's a lot. You can tell that some things are opening back up because, man, there's a lot of traffic out yeah. there. <laughs> Just thinking, hmm. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do it too solid because I think some of the white and stuff will kind of give me some highlights. The birds are singing. Can you guys hear them? I don't know if you can or not, but they're singing. Sounds really loud to me. Yeah. <coughs> sorry, Clint has allergies. I'm sorry. It's bad old day. That's just what happens this time of year. So I'm going to go ahead and take that down, kind of as straight as I can, but you guys know I'm not very straight. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of fun. I kind of like that. <coughs> Okay, we're going to put white, or er, black in his face here. Because I just didn't, I wanted it to be kind of dry. <coughs> so that I, I got paint on me. <laughs> so that it didn't bleed in. So it probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal. So are you guys still focusing on positive, positive things? I know it's hard during this time. But Chloe might be coming out. But we're definitely, you know, focusing on the positive, just like with the truck. <laughs> Could have been so much worse. So what I'm going to do with the eye is I'm just going to kind of go around it. And... you know, kind of keep a highlight there. You guys know I'm not a watercolor, but I'm practicing. That's kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of work on his wings. Now his wings are Kind of a, um, black and white, has just a little bit of, just a little bit of, um, orange in them. There's not a lot, so. That 
would be kind of fun just to, I'm just using my <coughs> paper as the white. So, here, just a little bit of, hi Chloe, <coughs> I was thinking she would be. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have to get those gray hats. Oh. <coughs> And then I'll kind of and it's not like a solid black there's a little bit and then this one it's kind of like that like this and then just some really long actually kind of keeps going like that so that's kind of fun Kind of enjoying this. It looks looks like a bird. <laughs> looks like a bird, guys. I'm not too worried about you know too much of the of it not being solid because it is like wrought iron. I think he's looking kind of cute. What do you guys think? Okay, you know what else I need? I need something down here because why would this just be like floating? Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Chloe. There we go. Let me stop making some <coughs> helm coaches like I'm obsessed. Huh. Yeah, but you don't want to do anything like that right now. No, no. I don't think. I don't think. No. So I'm going to go ahead and just lighten just a little bit of the black because even though it looks white, it's going to kind of be more of a gray. You know, it's going to have highlights and stuff. There we go. That looks nice. And then I'm going to do it just a little bit more for his little uh, claws. I had to think what they were called. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys saw my other ones. So. <laughs> Just because you're your fluffy bird? Huh? Didn't you give your fluffy bird away? I did give my fluffy bird away, and I keep forgetting <coughs> to send it, so. I'll remind her. Elizabeth, I'm trying to remember. I'll remind her. <laughs> Every day I'm like, oh, I need to send that, and then I forget. But truthfully, I've been doing pain pills and stuff because of my arm. So it's kind of, I'm not surprised I forgot today. Well, and Clint was gone and been babysitting my kitty cat. She's a little doll. I don't want nothing to happen to her. Nope. So, nothing perfect, you know. Okay. I think it looks kind of fun. What do you guys think? Let's mix in some grays and stuff down here just to kind of give it a little bit of shadow. And then also in the tail, I did notice that earlier. Just a little bit where it's kind of got a shadow on it. Do what, babe? Nothing. Oh. Have okay, sorry. I uh, haven't figured out exactly what we're going to have for supper, <laughs> but we'll figure something out here. We'll get it here in a little bit. He's looking so cute. He looks like a bird. Look. Well, that's a good thing. Oh yeah. That's good. My my uh, drawing. Hmm. See if his face is kind of. As long as you know what it is, when you look at it, you're doing good. <laughs> well, she always says, "Draw what you see," and I think, hmm. Does she know what kind of eyes I have? Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily a good thing. So I am kind of, I just kind of did a little bit of <coughs> gray to kind of color his beak. Now I'm going to kind of draw in just a few little pieces here. Just kind of mimic the, the one I'm looking at. He looks cute. He's a cutie, guys. What do you think? 
So really, we're just about done. Just putting a little bit of kind of sh shading there. And let's kind of maybe do a little bit more with his feet. I feel like they kind of lost some definition. Just because I just felt like he needed that. You can do it however much or however little you want. Clint said he had a pretty good day today. He did have to go work and found some, you know, some issues with some things at work. But the one company hasn't called us, so we kind of expected them to, but they haven't. Fast server them today, too. Really? Yep. Did they wave at you? I don't know. I ignored them. <laughs> Me as well, huh? Oh, heck yeah. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more black in here just to kind of deepen it. But not too perfectly because there is a lot. You know how um, the wrought iron kind of loses its shine after a while? So just to kind of add like different shadows and stuff. I'm not sure about this. The only thing is, you know, you might could erase. Let's see if we can erase any of that. Because sometimes you can, she said. Ooh, nice. It's erasing and it's not... I don't think it's bothering my orange. Sometimes if it's not coated too much with the... Uh, water colors, I guess, it will kind of... Chloe, it's okay. I kind of like that much better. Okay, cool. 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 I, I remember what she, what she says. <laughs> it's my brain, I tell you. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more down here, just because I think I lost a little bit of that. It wasn't horrible, though, you know. So the next one, we're fixing to go into colors in her class, which I'm really excited about trying because um, something called Conte, um, Conte coloring. So it's kind of like something that's a little bit harder than a pastel, but it's not as hard as like graphite. graphite. So that's kind of fun. I'm kind of excited. I, I don't have my colors yet. Um, I got a couple of them today, but, which is fine, you know, since I have my arm issue. <laughs> yep. Clint's like, what are you doing? Nothing. I did do a little cleaning and stuff, but Hi, Chloe. not enough to <coughs> have an issue with Clint. Yep. So I'm just going to kind of draw that in just a little bit. Do I, huh? Oh, I was going to say, we had to bless our trash guys come and picked up our trash. I called them, left a message to ask them if they wouldn't mind walking up and grabbing our trash cans, and they did that. Yeah, so. they're so nice, so we're going to do something for them. Yeah, they are a blessing, that's for sure. We have like a 300-foot um, driveway, <laughs> and like when Clint's really hurting, or like today, you know, I wasn't feeling, feeling the greatest, then we asked them if they wouldn't mind really really nice so that looks kind of fun I kind of like that there's more shadow on the bottom we're gonna kind of just shadow you know if I was doing this for me just me or something you know I mean like spend more time on it I would um, probably do a um, background and you could still do that but instead of just a white background but you know you know, it's not necessary. Do what you want to do, which is what I like about Lindsay. She's always encouraging that. Just do what you want. Have fun. Okay. So, just his eyeball. That's it. Then we'll 
write the saying on here. I think I can maybe write it here. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of fun. I like it. Okay, so his eyeball. You want to keep the shadows in. So what I'm going to do, I think, you know what? I'm going to switch to a small one. If you're really good, you can use that same big one for this. But you guys know, I'm just learning. So I'm going to switch to a smaller one because I feel more comfortable with it. And I don't want to mess up my whole picture because of the eye. So I'm kind of looking at the picture here and we are going to keep a little bit of like a little bit of a halo and if you have like a white pen then you can add that later it's not you know all that necessary to do it now and then I'm just going to kind of go around the eye just maybe, you know, not too dark, but but he kind of has an eye like that. So there's a little bit of a halo. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can't even see it. Can you guys? Anyways, he looks cute. <laughs> So, one thing I just learned from her course is you can scrub away, like, some of the color. So, I think I'm going to try that. I don't know, you know, if you could scrub away black. Just to lighten it just around the eye. There we go. Not too bad. Of course, if I do too much, then I can, you know, just tap in a little bit more black. I think it looks kind of cute. Now you can see it better, right? Yeah. Might just leave it like that. That looks kind of kind of cute. Let's do a little bit more and kind of maybe like do um, um, what am I thinking? Like some feathers. kind of soften around that eye so it's not like just a line I'm excited about him I think he looks really cute but I'm pretty sure that the one we saw didn't have um, like I said didn't have the black. the black head but we don't have any oranges and then we're not going to town tomorrow like we'd planned. So we're going to get some oranges, though, and kind of... Um, Hopefully, maybe he'll come back. Huh? Yeah, maybe he'll come back. That'd be kind of fun. Wouldn't it be fun to kind of so do your own... Um, <coughs> paint your own picture. That'd be really fun. So I'm just kind of throwing in just a little bit of... Kind of softening it. So it's not just so stark, you know. And I think I'll do that with the orange, too. He's kind of cute. I kind of like him. Let's do it with the orange. And, like, right through here, because it's kind of... <coughs> kind of comes down. It's almost like he has, like, a yellow back, almost. And then, like, an orange breast. It's kind of like a robin. So that's kind of fun. A lot brighter, you know. Okay, that's kind of fun. Kind of like that. And then it has just a little bit, maybe, like a um, there that's not so defined. Just a little in there. Like shadow, I guess. I 
I think he looks cute. He's a cutie patootie. <laughs> here just some shadow that's one thing I never really noticed because you know when you start <coughs> taking our classes it's um, about shadowing and stuff like that that's like the toning which is different dark and, and lightness and stuff and that's one thing I never really noticed was um, you know the the shadows and stuff so I've really learned a lot already. So just putting in a little bit of orange back here. Touch of orange here, here. I think he looks adorable. So I think I'm going to call him done. I think he's cute. Okay, let me find the saying, which is... I find my happiness where the sun shines. So, I just thought he looked like a like a bird full of sunshine. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that would be really cute. So, I'm going to try not to mess anything up. So, I find my happiness. And I just printed it with my pencil. That way I can kind of go back in. I think I'm going to use that orange. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to use this brush. It's a, it's like a, a shorter liner brush. It's not like super short or super long. Some of them are really long, like an inch and a half or something. So I think he's pretty dry there. I... And I'm okay if I don't go, you know, right over my writing. Because what I want to do is just kind of, you want to write just to make sure you have enough room. Or I do anyways. My happiness. Then I did happiness quite a bit bigger because I thought that would be kind of fun. Of it's just a little bit lighter, so just kind of going over that. <coughs> when you're doing this, you just want to kind of have it like ink. So it's really windy all of a sudden, too, huh? Oh, yeah. It's always windy here in the spring. Yeah, it is. Or like right before a uh, storm's coming. Hey, bud. What you doing, little buddy, huh? Okay. And then we'll do shine. That's <coughs> kind of big. go. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll erase my pencil and then we'll be right back and we'll put that in our journal. So be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm pretty thrilled with how it looks. I think 
it looks pretty cool. And I really love that. I think it turned out really she fun. She did a very good job. You know, I didn't put a lot of um, <coughs> definition on the orange, but I wanted to focus on the bird. So I think he's really cute. I love that. So we're going to glue him down. Move this one over here. And I think even from like this one, I can tell an improvement. I don't know. But that's what you get when you practice and get uh, tendonitis, you know. You do your practicing, you'll improve, I guess. <laughs> what? No. Fighting? No. no. So I have to do this with my left oh, hand. My gosh. Oh, she's sleeping. Got her head hanging over there. Poor Jazzy Lynn. Jazzy Lynn is sleeping a lot, but I really think she's improving. I think she's really improving. We still got to get her in anyways. And I was thinking, well, if she had something like stuck in her throat, I would want them to, you know, put her um, a anesthetizer yeah. just once, and maybe she could be fixed at the same time. Exactly. Because I was thinking, I don't know if that's a good thing, you know. But hopefully she'll be better today when you guys see this. So. I love that one. I think it turned out really fun. So I'm not sure what day we're on. I'm just going to continue uh, labeling these the same, like titling them the same, and just put part one. So it might be like part 365 before <laughs> before I'm all done <laughs> but it's kind of fun to go back and see because let's start yeah the this one was inspired by Ellen Creamy Trent a little bit of journaling this one <coughs> was inspired I can't remember her name um, the links, I do have a playlist though if you, you know, want to do any of these. That was a cute little bluebird. I don't have it here. Oh, I didn't sign that one. This one was inspired by Lindsay. I love her. I think she's so cute. She's so cute. And then this one I um, took off of uh, Pinterest. And this okay. one was just a fluffy bird. I can't remember her either who inspired her. This one was an inspiration from Pinterest. <laughs> it just cracked me up. This one was an inspiration from Ellen Creamy Trent, and I added a little bit of flowers there. Then the bee, this one was inspired by a picture I took. And then this one, I think, it turns out so cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, look at him. Look at the expression on his face. He just looks cute, I think. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are continuing staying positive, staying safe, do whatever you need to do to, um, to feel safe, you know, whether it's stay home or not. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, you know, stay home and be scared, but you know, do whatever you need to do to feel safe because <coughs> just because things are opening up doesn't necessarily mean things are safe. Like my sister said, well, as long as they're People are responsible. Are responsible. And I said, that's the problem. You know, it's not necessarily people being responsible. That's so, like, dang, how often are they responsible? You know, exactly. So, the, I think the key word was responsible. So, just stay safe, guys, and um, focus on the positive. I know sometimes it's really hard to find positive things, but yeah, focus on the positive. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and come back tomorrow for another video um, with. The Rambling Crafter and Clint. Yes, thank you for visiting. Yes, guys, we'll see you guys. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.